once had a friend tell me, just do it, just go for it, because I have like the most horrible anxiety, the most horrible depression, the most horrible all of it. You can just only imagine. I'm freaking nuts. Um, so I'm just gonna do it. Um, hello. I w I'm here because I have always wanted to be a singer. And if you see me looking away, it's because I'm looking at a picture of my brother. Cause he's he's one that's gonna keep get me through this. I know it. I know he is. I have him right here with me, but I have to look at a picture of him so I don't see me looking at myself <laughs> because then I'm going to freak. Um, he's probably laughing at me right now. So um, I've always wanted to be a singer and I, I can't sing in front of people. I freak when I sing in front of people. I have to really, really, really be comfortable with you to sing in front of you. Like really comfortable and or, or drunk. I'm good at it when I'm drunk. Um, but, you know, I'm a good poet, so, or I've been told I'm a good poet, I don't, I truly don't think I am, but, you know, um, maybe if I read my poems out loud, eventually I'll be able to sing, and, you know, I, I've always wanted to be a singer-songwriter, I've always wanted to change the world, I wanted to be the next Lennon, I got told why not be the next me but um it's because i don't even know who i am half the time yeah so i'm gonna sit here and read these these poems to you and hopefully you like them and maybe hopefully i can get some covers in uh i have a very very high pitched voice i have a three octave vocal range and i'm really good at like you know Ella Fitzgerald because I forced myself to be like her. Um, Etta James, Cher, I, I can sing some Cher um, in Houston. I'm good at stupid stuff like that. I, I'd rather sing Post Malone, but I'm good at the other stuff. And I'm actually really good at country and I hate singing country i love country music i hate singing it i hate the fact that i have a country accent but i'm really good at it because i have this country accent so you might hear me get a few songs in like fancy that's one of my favorite songs if i do sing uh country um and yeah so anyways i guess let me introduce myself to you like officially with what I'm going to start doing. Okay, so, come on, Drewski, we got this, right? My name is Nonsense, that's all that I speak. I'm a mother and wife trying to accomplish my dreams. I'm good at writing, a poet, I'm best, but my dream is to sing and get the words out of my chest. A long time ago, things happened to me that I don't speak of with others, but it caused PTSD. <laughs> Before it all happened, I was wild and free, but that split second has caused so many memories. And you know, you think that one thing is bad, but then your brain starts showing you everything bad. And the things you never thought would tear you apart are the things that hurt most in your heart. And though there's flashbacks of horrible days, it's the after effects that doesn't play well with my brain. The thing said to me after all was done, let me see the hate in everyone. Not one person could ever be happy for me, so instead they had to tear up my dreams. And every time I tried to conquer my fear, I'd get on that stage and I'd just stand there. For my voice didn't matter back then. Why should it now? Should I even begin? So here I am writing again and trying to figure out a way to make my dream win. And though this isn't the road I wanted to take, if poetry lets me find a way, if it sets me free from this prison I made, maybe, just maybe, I'll find my break and break free from this life that my mind made by mistake. So I'll keep writing these things and read them out loud in hopes that one day I'll sing and I could actually say I fought PTSD and I won and I'm free. Thank you all for listening. My name is Nonsense and that's all that I speak. I hope you liked it.